Okay, massage therapists, today we're going to talk about the largest organ in the body. It's more specifically, we're going to talk about the integumentary system. Now, I like to start every lecture, um, sorry, this is a lecture, a little bit uh, talking about the roots for each uh, body system. And in this system, anytime you see the word derm, and oftentimes we'll use the, the cute uh, those relate to the skin and the regulatory functions uh, of the skin and any well, a lot of the skin pathologies have the word derm in them so derm and cute for the integumentary system now from an anatomy perspective this is uh, the most superficial layer of the skin and hopefully you can see this it's known as the epidermis. Now, I'll add over here to our list, epi means above or upon. Write that. So if we're talking about the epidermis, we're talking about the most superficial layer of the skin. It's a relatively thin layer of skin. It is the layer of skin that is exposed to the external world. It is technically uh, a bunch of layers of cells piled on top of each other, named uh, stratum something or other. So we're not going to get into more specifics. I'm just going to be a little brief. The epidermis really is, from a function perspective, its job is to do protection from the external environment. We actually have on the superficial layer of the epidermis, or, or I should say on the most superficial layer of the epidermis, we have bacteria that lives there. And it's responsible for maintaining a nice chemical balance for what's going on there. And more than anything, it's there to protect our deeper layers or the very, very, very important layer, second layer known as the dermis. Now what you actually see here is I drew, ahead of time, I drew a, uh, a hair follicle and a hair shaft going on up through the epidermis just to show you that it's not completely closed off to the to the external world but for the most part the dermis is the second layer of skin but it is the layer of skin where anything and everything gets done and if we look at another function here I'll write here functions so you can review this later but there are a number of functions that the technically the dermis is responsible for. And if we look at epidermis, it means upon the dermis. And so that, that would tell one that the dermis was pretty stinking important, but I don't know. Um, so what we have going on here is we actually make or synthesis or synthesize vitamin D. Um, so syn, that's my N, this is use sunlight, converts vitamin D, and uh, we use vitamin D for a number of things in the body, namely um, making sure that our bones are, are getting hard and uh, responding to sunlight. Making vitamin D, pretty important function. Second function of the dermis, very, very important. We actually have excretion, um, and we excrete for the most part, we're, we're secreting things like sweat. We're cooling the body from the inside out by bringing fluid to the surface via this hair shaft here. Um, and uh, to be completely honest, it's one of the most important functions because it's going to lead to what's, what I would say if I had to star one of these, body temperature regulation. Now, technically, this is a function of a part of the brain known as the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus talks to the skin, talks to the dermis, and says, hey, it's time. We're going to you know, we're gonna increase blood flow to the organs. We're going to shunt off blood supply to the skin. And we're actually going to stop you know, um, wasting all of our energy. So really, this body temperature regulation is an extremely, extremely important part of what the skin does for a living. Um, so keep that in mind, it isn't always done uh, in island form. We have the nervous system that talks to this part of the body, and that, that leads me to the last part, of course. Um, we do things like sensory reporting back and back to the nervous system about touch, um, sensory reception, and we'll have specialized 
organs, if you want to call them that, that are responsible for touch, deeper touch and lighter touch receptors. We have pain receptors in here. They're known as nociceptors, NOI, susception. Um, sensory reception, uh, we have pressure receptors. Again, all really funny names. Um, Meisner's corpuscles are our light touch receptors, and Pacinian corpuscles do deep touch pressure receptors. So, um, the skin is responsible for determining what's going on, what environment, and we're sending it back to the to the nervous system. And so, five functions of the skin: epidermis, dermis, and then even finally a third layer. It's the subcutaneous, and there's that word "cute." or that root, cute, subcutaneous, subcutaneous. Anyway, the last layer, uh, three layers of skin. And down here we have a lot of, uh, a lot of fat. And, and so that, that leads us to kind of our last insulation. One of our major functions of skin and it's done mainly by that subcutaneous layer, we have insulation. So when you look at the integumentary system and, and the number of functions, it's extremely important. We completely take for granted that when our skin is intact, it's, it's doing a good job. It's when we, we have a cut and we start to have the ability for bacteria and all of his friends to come in and, and really infiltrate this dermis layer. Um, we run into trouble. So the integumentary system is not that bad of a system to get to know. Epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous layers, but does a lot more than you thought it did, didn't it? All right, well, enjoy your physiology. We'll come talk skin pathologies another day. Thanks.